everyone is going super well. I'm going to be talking a little bit today about um, how to be able to halve your crash rate, so how to be able to have less crashes um, out on the track so you can be spending a heap more time uh, getting towards the front and, and being successful, being able to get awesome results. So the, the biggest thing with, uh, with crashing okay, is a little bit of reverse engineering, so finding out how that crash happened. Now, if you ask a lot of racers, um, obviously speaking to a lot of riders and racers, um, you'll find they say, oh, they, made a, uh, they took the wrong line, okay, the front, um, hey, Christian, the, the front wheel jumped out of a rut, okay, they went over a berm, whatever it is, but something along the way has led to this accident happening. Now, I know that there are um, crashes and, and things like that before we go in depth, okay, that you just can't avoid, okay? Like if someone lands on top of you or someone comes and runs into you, um, like impact injuries are things that we can't control, but what we can control um, or at least try and improve a shit ton um, is the amount of time that we do crash, okay? So what we want to be able to... Hey, Maddie. Hey, Christian. What we want to be able to focus on is what's led up to that point, okay? And what's happened at that point in time. So what you'll find is that um, often this will be for, from a few things, okay, that could have contributed. So number one um, can be level of energy, okay? So you fatigue towards the end of a motor. Um, could be your level of focus and concentration, okay? Um, and could also be your, your level of fitness, okay? Your level of strength, your level, level of conditioning. Now, these three all correlate together. Okay, um, there's not just one, one single thing. So what starts to happen with our riding and racing is that when our energy, uh, definitely Anthony, fatigue is definitely one of the bigger ones. So when we, when we get to, towards the end of the race, we've been busting our ass all day, okay, busting our ass all race to, to do well, to be able to do as best we can and, and hold our position or make up positions. Um, obviously, we start, to, we start to burn through a whole heap of energy, okay? Um, and when we, don't, when we start to burn through that energy and we haven't fueled ourselves correctly, we haven't put in the right food, we haven't been drinking the adequate amounts of water, we haven't been retaining that water, okay, um, and we haven't educated ourselves on that, what starts to happen is our brain um, doesn't focus as well, okay? So it takes a lot of energy both mentally and physically, obviously, to race, okay, and to be out on the bike and exert that level of effort. Now, the big thing that, that um, we need to take note of is that me our mental performance is the most important, okay? When we perform mentally well, the rest of our body is going to be able to perform well. Mentally, when we're not, we're not with it, it doesn't matter how fit, how strong you are. If this isn't working properly, then we're going to have dramas out on the track. So one of those common areas is that a level of focus throughout the, the race, throughout the day, uh, will start to deteriorate, will start to drop off, okay? Won't be as good as what it was at the start of the day. Um, and that's something we want to be able to improve and something we want to be able to make better. Um, and that all comes down to your preparation, okay? What you've done prior to that race, making sure that we're eating the right stuff, making sure that we're, we're recovering adequately. Otherwise, this means that we're not giving our body enough food um, and we're not getting enough nutrients up to, this, to get this brain working um, to be able to focus. So when we're coming into a corner, we're not going to be as focused as what we were before. When we're going over a jump, we're not going to be as focused, okay? We're not going to be um, as focused on what's happening around us um, and that means we're going to be a lot more susceptible to injury. So that's the first thing. The next thing to be able to look at is also oxygen. So our brain uh, works with oxygen, okay? As soon as that air is start to cut off, we're not as efficient with taking oxygen in, then what starts to happen is our brain doesn't think as clearly, okay? Um, and obviously, you, we would have all had that, we've all had that experience at some point where we're out of breath and we just can't focus. You're trying to run or you're trying to walk or you're trying to row and you're just like all over the place, okay? It's almost like you're a little bit drunk. Um, and that's exactly what happens when you, you're out on the bike, out on the track as well. So if you're out there and you, your body's not efficient with taking in oxygen, not efficient with taking in air, okay, um, and we get out there and, out, and we get towards the end of the race and we're getting out of breath, what starts to happen is up here, we can't focus as much as what we need to, okay? Um, we can't keep our mind on, we can't make um, the best decisions possible, okay? And we want to make sure that when we're out there on the track, that we put you in a position to be able to make the best position, to make the best, the best, I'll get it out eventually. We want to be able to make sure that you put yourself in the best position possible to be able to make the best decisions in terms of line selection and how your body reacts to certain things. So if you go over a jump and you get kicked, how quickly you're able to respond to that. If you're going into a corner and some of the braking bumps are, are kicking you around and that's something you need to be able to focus on more, then we want to be able to make sure that you have that level of focus um, and level of attention 
um, to be able to do that. And that all comes back to, to a few things. So I want to give you guys some tactical stuff that you can actually implement. And the first thing that I want to talk about comes back to water intake, okay? And this is something that a lot of riders and racers are, um, don't understand as well as what they should. Water intake is super, super important because hydration <coughs> um, is a, the, the body's made up of roughly 60% water, okay? So over half the body is made up of water. So water is so, so, so important for our longevity, for our body to be able to function. Now, what happens when that level of water declines, our body isn't able to perform as well, okay? We're not as strong, um, we're not as energetic, we're not as focused uh, because we're dehydrated. We don't have as much water and that's what makes up most of our body. So we need to be working on roughly 40 mils per kilo of body weight, okay? So if you weigh, uh, if you weigh 90, 95 kilos, I think that's about four, about four liters a day, okay, um, of water, which is a shit ton of water, right? Um, 40 mils per kilo of body weight. So the only way to be able to get this in and actually get this happening is to be able to live with one of these things, okay? So the things that you should have with you all day um, should consist of your mobile phone, your wallet, and your drink bottle. They're the three things that you take with you anywhere, okay? And like, like obviously with our video, you've probably seen on previous videos as well, I'm always having a drink or I have my bottle nearby. Um, it's something you need to be able to have with you because it's that important. It doesn't matter about all the training, the nutrition, everything else. If, you, if you're, you're nailing that stuff, but you're not hydrated, um, things are going to start to go downhill. So they actually did a little bit of research on this. Um, and they had a, um, a group of active individuals. And what happened with those group of active individuals is they found that the ones that were, um, through the study, the ones that were dehydrated by as little as 2% of their total body weight. So let's just say you're, you're supposed to be 100 kilos but you rock up to racing this weekend at 98 kilos. What that means is that, uh, or what they found through this research, through the study they did, you can lose up to 40% of your total work capacity. So 40% of your total work capacity means you can go and do all the strength training, you go and do all the conditioning, you do all the right stuff nutritionally, okay, and still not be able to, to optimize your performance on race day because you haven't hydrated enough. Now, this comes down to preparation and knowledge on how to hydrate yourself correctly. The biggest myth is that you need to get heaps of water in on race day, okay? The biggest myth. Now, yes, you do need to get heaps of water on race day, but what's more important than that is getting the water in prior to race day. If we're only worrying about water on race day, it's too late. Once you're dehydrated and you've started the day, that's it, done, okay? You've already lost work capacity, lost recovery, lost performance, lost energy. You need to have um, specific focus on hydration at least three days prior to race day, but you should be focusing on this every single day because you want to use these added benefits for your training as well. Imagine being able to get an extra 20, 30, 40, 50% out of yourself from every single training session. Imagine where you'd be at the end of this week, at the end of two weeks, at the end of three weeks, at the end of four weeks, okay? Um, so there's a whole heap of stuff there um, that we need to be able to, to focus on um, in terms of water, okay? And it's all about preparation and being able to make sure that um, you get this in prior to being able to, uh, or prior to race day, okay? You want to be able to make sure that you focus on uh, water intake and hydration prior to race day. When we get to race day, it's just about maintaining your hydration, okay? Um, not trying to get a shit ton of, abs of, of water in, trying to catch up for the last few weeks that you haven't been drinking water. Because once we get to race day, it's going to be too late. So that's the first thing, hydration. The second thing that I want to talk about um, is being able to, uh, David, I just saw your thing come there. If you can PM me, that would be awesome and we can have a, a chat about that. Um, so what we want to be able to focus on is being able to, in terms of, of our, first of all, we want to focus on water, first thing. Next thing we want to look at is nutrition, okay? And we want to make sure that with our nutrition, with our food, that we're eating the right stuff beforehand. So before every race, we need to make sure that we're increasing our level of simple carbs, which is a level of natural sugars, so we're talking things like uh, fruits, okay? So we want to make sure 45 minutes prior to every race, we're having uh, a serving of fruit, uh, natural sugar. After every race, we want to make sure that we're, we're recovering, okay? Now, the biggest mistake on race day is that everyone always feels good at the start of race day, okay? Because you're fresh, you're ready to go, um, you haven't done anything yet. But what we need to know is we need to know in advance that when we get to, to race three, um, or race four, depending on how many races you've had, okay, motocross, enduro, whatever we're doing, road racing, 
that we need to make sure that we recover from every single race and every single ride we do that day so that we have as much energy as we can possibly have at the end of the day. So everyone knows, right, that the last race of the day is going to be the hardest of the day because you have all that fatigue that you've built up over the day um, then being caught up to you on the last day. And that's something we want to be able to, um, something we want to be able to work with. Okay, so the first thing that we want to be able to, to focus on is hydration. The second thing, looking at food. Now, in terms of recovery, after every race, what we want to be able to do is take in some form of protein. Now, the best way to be able to do this and what we do with our guys in their, um, our motorsport development program is we actually get you to uh, take in a protein shake. Okay, and that protein needs to be from a natural source. Um, so, sorry, not from a natural source. Needs to be The protein powder needs to be uh, natural in terms of just protein powder. So no fillers, no other things in there um, that are affecting your performance that are going to uh, put chemicals into your body like preservatives and carbohydrates and sugars and all these things. We want just protein. And that is the most important thing. So we need to make sure that the, the benefit of having the protein powder is its speed of consumption, okay? Speed is the most important thing when we're looking at recovery. We need to make sure that we get you into a anabolic state, which is where we can actually use the protein to help you recover, help your muscles repair and be able to continue for the rest of the day. So when we're taking in, uh, let's say we're looking at meat, there's a certain amount of time it takes to digest to get that protein and also the speed of being able to cook it, get it all ready so it's ready for you when you come in from race day or from each race. So the main focus needs to be on timing and getting in at the correct time uh, to be able to make sure that you perform well. Okay, uh, we want to be able to make sure that you get that in at the correct time. Okay, um, you're performing well, um, and that is the most important thing. So as soon as you come in off the bike, you take in that protein, uh, and you have that with water as well. So that's your your energy requirements and your level and your recovery as well um, that we need to be focusing on to be able to make sure that you make better decisions. So in terms of decision making out on the track. We need to make sure you're fueling yourself correctly. A lot of people, a lot of riders and racers look at strength, training and conditioning and nutrition as something that's going to help them to perform better, which it will, but it's also going to prevent accidents as well. If you don't want to be hurt, if you don't want to be in the hospital, if you don't want to be injured, then that's something you need to be able to focus on as well to be able to make sure that you can get the best out of yourself. You can prevent any injuries and accidents. And by doing that, you also improve your level of success that you're able to achieve because you're able to be more consistent with your training. If you're always having accidents and getting hurt, ending up in hospital, having injuries, then you're not going to be able to ride as well. You're not going to be able to have the amount of time on the bike that everyone else is getting. Um, and we want to be able to make sure that we maximize that. So here are the two things I wanted to talk about today, guys. Hydration, one. And two, looking a little bit of basic nutrition in terms of race day and what you need to be able to do there. So water intake, we're looking at 40 mils per kilo of body weight um, on average, okay? So that's something you need to be able to work on. You need to be able to make sure that you have one of these things near you all the time. So if it's not near you right now while you're watching this live stream, then that's something you need to be able to fix as well um, to be able to make sure that you can get everything on track. And, and now's the time to be able to do that. It's coming towards the end of the season. This is where you need to have the focus on being able to make sure that you can, um, you can get everything nailed so that when race season comes next year, you're ready to go, I'm not still trying to figure all this stuff out. Um, so we, have our, we actually have our motorsport development program kicking off next Monday. Um, our next intake. And there's a couple of spots left for that. Um, so if any of you guys, first guys to be able to um, to PM me, if you're someone that we're able to work with and take on board the program, um, then uh, then we can see what we can do there. So if you can send me a, uh, anyone that's interested in jumping on board, um, we're kicking off next Monday. Um, we'll need to have a, a chat first, a bit of a call um, to be able to see if you're someone we can work with. Um, and if you are, if, if that's something you're interested in, um, send me through a PM. Um, and then we can organize a time to have a call and get on a, uh, and see what we can do. Um, and if you're someone we can work with, uh, then we can get, get you cracking next week. Um, so look forward to, look forward to doing another live stream for you guys tomorrow. Um, hope you guys have found this live stream useful. Um, and remember train hard, race harder. See you guys.